So you're thinking about moving to South Florida. Well, today I'm going to take you around Boca, show you some different neighborhoods with different price points of different homes so you can see what might fit into your budget. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you one of Boca Raton's hidden gems and we're gonna get after it right now. If you are new to this channel and you'd like to know everything that there is to know about living in Boca Raton, subscribe below and tap the bell button for notifications to be the first one to know what's going on in the market in Boca Raton and in South Florida. My name is Castilla with Living in South Florida. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking to make a move to Boca Raton and we absolutely love it. So whether you're planning to move in nine days or in 90 days, just give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. The information is in the description below and we can help you make a smooth move to Boca Raton. We are here at Sanborn Square. This is the heart of Boca Raton. It was dedicated to Boca Raton in 1955 by Eleanor Sanborn in the name of her late husband. And ever since then has been a center location for events year round. From here, you can see that Boca has grown. If you go south, if you go north, east or west, you're gonna see that it has expanded from this location. There are restaurants here, boutique retail shops, condominiums, offices. There are art museums and much, much more. I'm excited to share with you one of the most prestigious communities in Boca Raton. This is the Royal Palm Yacht and Country Club. This country club has a median listing of over $10 million and sold at a $5.7 million. So we're definitely in the highest range area here in Boca as far as communities go and the cost for housing. This community, the school rating is okay. It's not great. So a lot of people will take their kids to private school, probably almost almost everybody here will take their kids to a private school. There is a private membership available, but it's not required. The full golf membership for initial fee is 125,000 with a social fee of 50,000 if you just want to do social. And then the full golf membership yearly fee is $18,000 with a social fee of $12,000. You are really gonna enjoy the homes that I'm gonna show you today. I'm showing you three different homes. One that's a little bit older. It uh, hasn't been modernized. It's closer to the center uh, or entrance of the community. And it's just a really great one to show you so you can see what a smaller home and older home looks like. And you can compare the price with the more modern ones that I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna show you two modern ones, one in a medium price point here and a higher price point compared to the other houses in this community. And I'm really excited to show you. Let's go check it out. home that I'd like to show you today. This home is $3,150,000. It is a three bedroom, two bath, a little over 2,100 square feet. It does have a pool in the back and the landscaping is nicely groomed. You can see the neighborhood here. It's a combination of some newer builds and older homes. And this home is a little bit older compared to some of the other ones in this country club. So therefore you can see the price point is lower than some of the other ones that I'm gonna show you today.
share with you a more modern home. This one is a $22 million home. It is a six bed, eight bath, and almost 900 square feet. It is right on the canal. This canal and water view will take you to the intercoastal canal and then out into the ocean. So it's a perfect place if you would like to park your yacht and enjoy the view. And all the homes on this street are going to give you that option of having a view to the canal. that I wanted to show you here in this community is a $37.5 million home. It is a six bed, nine bath, and a little over 9,600 square feet. This home is more expensive for several reasons. One is that it is a completely new built. That means somebody bought the home, the, the previous home, and then tore it down and started all brand new. And it is right on the intercoastal canal, which means you can pull your boat right up there and you'll be in and out onto the coastal canal. I wanted to bring you guys to Boca Harbor. This is about 10 minutes north of downtown Boca and right off of the Intercoastal Canal. Most of these homes will have a home where they could just walk outside of their house, the backyard, and be right on the canal. So you can see the boat behind me, beautiful. This is something that you can see at the houses all around here. What I'd also like to show you is the variety of homes that are here. We have a combination of single story homes and double story homes. We also have a variety of architectural styles here. So a lot of homes right now are actually being torn down and rebuilt. So you can see a lot of construction going on here and a lot of modernization as well. So we're gonna go for a little walk down that neighborhood and I'm gonna show you a really nice upscale, luxurious home that has been rebuilt in 2022. This home is just gonna blow your socks off. It is a really good price point compared to the Royal Palm Yacht and Country Club that we just saw at our last community that we went to. So let's go check it out. Behind you, this is the home that I wanted to show you. This is a new build from 2022. This is a $4,795,000 home. It is a five bed, six bath, and 5,300 square feet. It is very affluent, very upscale, and right off of the canal. You have room to put a 70 foot yacht on this property in the back in the canal. I wanted to share with you this very unique neighborhood called Old Floresta. You can see the beautiful trees here covering the streets and the very unique design of the homes as well. This is one behind me that's for sale right now. This is on sale for 4.5 million. It is a six bed, seven bath, and 3,200 square feet. And it is in the style of Addison Meisner, which when you see Meisner Park downtown, the downtown area of Boca Raton, you'll kind of get the idea of the style that was taken from that for this home. I'm gonna take you for a little walk here so you can see the houses here. There are some new builds and there are some new 
you know, new construction, new builds, and a lot of older homes as well st still here. Uh, they are still very expensive, even for the older homes. You're gonna be looking at at least 1 million, if not more. So let's just check these out. More modern home. take you now to a unique neighborhood. It is an ungated community and what makes it unique is that it's just ungated, it's clean, it's family friendly, nice lawns. You're really going to enjoy it. This neighborhood is off Southwest 18th Street. It's just east of I-95 and we're going to drive to three properties. The price range of these properties are 1.2 to 1.9 million. Our first property, this is $1.7 million. This is a five bed, three bath, 2,687 square feet and 0.42 acres built in 1970. This is our second property. It's 1.2 million. It's four bed, three bath, 2,509 square feet. It is a 10,000 square feet lot and it was built in 1980. <music> baths, 4,260 square feet. It is on 0.28 acres of land and built in 1980. The unique thing about the Boca Sailing and Racquet Club is the diversity in the homes. There's modern, mid-century modern, ranch style, traditional, contemporary style, Mediterranean style. And the best thing that is that there's no two homes that are exactly alike because people buy them and then they customize them. It is a heavy, heavily wooded area. It is gated and it has a 116 acre park-like setting. 
absolutely just gorgeous with all the trees around surrounded by 45 acres of Lake Camino. It is centrally located in Boca, so it's gonna be close to a lot of things that you want to do, see, visit. I would definitely suggest if you're thinking about moving here to Boca Raton to check out this community. This home is 1.4 million. It's four bedroom, three bath, and 3,213 square feet. It is, uh, was built in 1987 get a better look at it. As far as schooling goes, we have the elementary school is above average and the middle school and high school is at about average. It's a six out of 10. So you still have good schools around here. And there are also options for private schools if you'd like to. The HOA here is about 450 to 500 a month. So you'd have to calculate that into your living expenses for monthly payments. So like I mentioned to you before, I said if you stuck around to the very end, I would show you one of Boca Raton's hidden gems. And here we are at Meisner Park. This is in the center of downtown Boca. And we are just one block from Sanborn Square, which I introduced you to at the beginning of this video and this tour of Boca Raton. Today, I just want you to see how beautiful this location is. It is a sweet walk right down the middle of Meisner Park. There are fountains, there are places that you can sit, and all the way around you can see there are a lot of restaurants. There are boutique retail shops, offices, and in some areas you can even see that there are residential condominiums. We also have a movie theater here. There is an art museum in Meisner Park and a really big super nice outside amphitheater with live music and activities. In the holidays, you can see a huge tree here, all lit up, very festive and very worth coming to check it out. And please remember, if you're planning to move in nine days or in 90 days or nine months, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or set up a Zoom call so that we can help you make a smooth move to Boca Raton. And until next time, I hope to show you around town.